Hello MacWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online, where we are playing the Broiler today. Now the Broiler is the supernova hero mech that has some interesting quirks and I today felt like some Ultra Auto Cannon 20 shenanigans. Now when we take a look at this build here, it is very very easy to see that this mech here has no triangle up here, although we are running two Ultra Auto Cannon 20s and that's because of this quirk here. Ultra Auto Cannon 20 HSL plus one, that means heat scale limit. With that we can fire two at the same time without any heat heat penalty, we don't get any ghost heat, and that makes the mech really devastating in close range combat. So imagine that. You have one Ultra Auto Cannon 20 that deals 20 damage. Since it's an Ultra Auto Cannon 20, you can double tap and get a burst of 40 damage out. And we have two of them, so that's 80 damage and it's just devastating. On top of that, we also have some missile weapons here, and I'm taking some LRM 10s today, because I wanted to have something to engage the enemies early and shred some armor so that we have it easier in the late game when the brawl begins. Currently the meta game is still kind of kind of dictated by enemy long range. Lots of Gauss rifles, PPCs, uh, we have some LRMs on the board and uh, the brawls are not really unfolding until the very late game usually. So therefore I wanted to have something that I can shoot and I wanted to be engaged uh, like all the time through, through all the game. Little side note, you could of course get a bit of more close range damage potential by using SRMC and make this build even more explosive when you come around the corner. Not on your side, but on the enemy side. But uh, again, this is really good to have some, some early game damage and also it helps you when you have an engagement and you come out of it, hopefully victorious, then uh, you're looking for the next target and the next target is like 600 meters away. While you're walking there and trying to get your ultra auto cannons on point again, you can shoot those LRMs and you are just constantly engaged throughout the whole game. Also, it's worth noting that our Ultra Auto Cannon 20s have a range of about 400 meters, which is quite respectable for a short range weapon. So, I really like this build. The only drawback is that we have, um, or the only drawbacks are actually, that we have a pretty big and obvious mag, pretty big side holsters, they're getting destroyed quite easily, and the arms are rather low slung, so it's not really good for peeking, but as soon as you're in the fight, you can just unleash hell. You will see that in the games. Let me quickly talk about the skills while we are here. And as you can see, we got some missile notes on the left side, and we got some ballistic notes on the right side, and I think it's kind of clear that I wanted like all of them, except for the one missile rack. And after playing some games, I would say it's actually good to have that. I think you really need it. And for that, I would technically, I wouldn't take any heat gen notes out because that mech is quite hot. Um, but you could possibly just take the three notes down here to get that, that and that, and then you have the missile rack. On top of it, as I was saying, heat generation is very important because as soon as you just double, triple, ultra tap your auto cannons, then uh, you will just generate so much heat. But the missiles themselves in the early game are basically heat neutral, so you can fire them all all over and over again. But as soon as the auto cannons are coming in, it's gonna be a bit hotter. As you can see, we got survivability of the left side of the survival tree here. We got some armor hardening nodes that are helping us in the brawls. And you might be like, wait, this is a brawler? Why wouldn't you max that out? The idea is to not get too much into the fights. Again, we have 400 meters range of our, on our auto cannons, so we might as well use it. On top of it, maximum cool run, almost maximum heat containment, as well as 60% rated deprivation, two cool shots and a UAV, and that, my friends, is the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now, and if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the skirmish mode on this map here, which is the Canyon Network. So, let's go, guys. Somebody has one ear medium lasers with 42 single heat sinks. That makes a lot of sense, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> He's trolling. So, uh, anyway, hello, mister. Hello. Hello, Mr. Piranha. Don't hit me. You're your friend, hopefully. What we are doing now is the following. Uh, we're gonna try to somehow get towards our enemies, and we're gonna try to somehow get around this corner before the enemies are actually there. Um, it's a million meters vapor eagle. Yeah, he's too far away, but that Kodiak on the other side okay. seems hittable. Oh, boy. All right, this is gonna hurt if we don't do anything about it. Uh, actually, let's go for this guy. You know what? There's a Kodiak spirit bear. I know that there's a guy right in front of us, but let's just drop some missiles. And we actually hit him. Nice! So, what's that? Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the stone. I was trying to not get stuck on the stone, but I did. So, here we are. Whoop. Got some missiles out. You want to go for it, buddy? Oh, he wants to. Hello. All right, we got some damage. And one more. And we're out of here. Ha! <laughs> That's enough that's absolutely enough, and the Thunderbolt is getting wrecked. Also, PPC from the other side, which is bad. So, let's go down here. Let's hold left side, guys. Just hold it here. Hold it here. We can do it. Back Delta 3. I'm gonna bring my boiler. Broiler. Broid boiler. Alright, let's actually... We should 
um, we should always uh, target those guys because we can always shoot some missiles. Rotary auto cannons on the king crab. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Let's keep shooting. Let's keep doing things that kills. Uh, like that vapor eagle there. Why is he not? Uh huh. Not targetable. Ah, uh, that's a bad shot on my behalf. All right, so we're gonna drop some dead fire, dumb fire. I'm always saying dead fire now because I was playing too much rogue tech. No, dead fire is not allowed here. It's not what we have. God, the rocks, man. Um, more dead fires? I don't know. I don't know. We are still holding left side, guys, and it's beautiful. Let's keep doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull back a little bit. We have 400 meters, so this is perfect. Also, ah, Atlas, 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 where are you going? Oh, Atlas, my Atlas. Come on, get that Cody out. Yeah, missiles away, and this is the cool thing. We can always be engaged. I'm gonna push forward to Charlie 4 now. I'm gonna bring my supernova. Let's do it. People are coming with me. That's beautiful. Uh, if you have a UAV, do it. Before we go, before we go. Ah, oh, you don't have UAVs. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna drop mine here. Uh, UAV. Hello? It doesn't work. Got him. Nice. And why does my UAV not come out? I wanna drop it anyway. Let's see. Centurion. And here we go. Okay, can only shoot the left side. Right side is a bit obstructed. Um... Okay, let's go for the eagle. Eagles are actually quite dangerous. Uh, and I need to leave my shots better. Also, cool shot. I'm not hitting him. I mean, I am. Kind of. And he's getting destroyed. Well done, guys. I think now we're gonna just turn around, right? That's a 5-0. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, let's go to Delta 4. Important thing is that we're gonna stay together as a pack. Okay, my UAV is gone, but um, the piranha is targetable. And here come the missiles. So, let's go. There's somebody behind us still. And now at this point, we need we just need high ground, right? So, cataphract. Got some damage in, so that's good. Ah, no, never mind. <laughs> that is too much. So, also, we only have 300 missiles left. And we need to find the rest of the enemy team. And um, there's a Phoenix Hawk coming up. Okay, got some damage in. That's not good. Artillery strike is coming down. ERPPC Warhammer. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's try to keep him pinned. All right, guys, high ground center, let's go. Uh-huh. All right, so here we go. Who is in front of us? Things that we can technically hit, but we so focused. Also, I wish I had my auto cannon back. No, he is not focused. He's, he's just shut down, right? Ooh, boy. Okay. Now he's dead. That's what he is. Ooh. Got some damage in against the Fract, and at this point... Oh, it's a piranha trying to go for me. Hello, little one. Got some damage. He's, he's just there. We cannot do anything against him. Let's go for missiles. <laughs> Let's get the little one. Like, really? Uh, come on, mister. Stay here, please. We, again, we hit him, but not great. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for the bigger guy. Let's go for the Phoenix Arc. Oh, man. This guy was completely uncontested here. And that's my... No, it's not. It's just jammed. I wanted to say my last shot. That's my last missile shot, though. So we have 16 shots left. I think this is just perfect because at this point, the game is basically over. And we are basically out of ammo. So if the Warhammer is going to come up again, then I will try to shoot it. Hit him slightly. And that is it. All right, guys. Eight shots left in the chamber. We have a 12-1 situation. GG. Well done, guys. We didn't rotate. We actually dealt with the guys at hand. We dealt with half of the team because the other half was sitting there trying to be in the outskirts, trying to snipe us. And, um, you know, we dealt with the guys who were dropping down and then turned around. And that's how we win here. So we got 750 roundabout, damage done, 200 taken, one killing blow, three kill most damage dealt, 11 assists. And that was the first round. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing, what is that here? The Frozen City Classic, and I think it's night time, or is it not? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We are trying to get on the high ground. We're going to try to find some enemies, and we're going to blast them apart with our ultra auto cannons. This is a very, a very brawly map, very condensed, very, very small. So the fight will be imminent in no time. So we're going to try to stick to the team in the early game. Uh, try to get some missiles out let's before we are getting out. into an intimate position. So let's... Uh, Shall we hold left side, Bravo 4? Shall we do that? Please say yeah. yes. Please. Team, come on. Tell me. Tell me that's what you want to do. Because it would be really beneficial for all of us, I think. Alrighty, so let's check it out. Somebody on the high ground? No. Nobody. Nobody on the dropship either. So, Mr. Hunchy, 
I'm gonna let the Hunchback scout, and I'm not even- I'm not even kidding, I'm, I'm not even having bad feelings because he is more mobile than I am. He can just peek and then retreat if it's getting too hot. If I go in, um, like, just in there, and there are too many enemies, then I'd have a big, big problem. So, peeking up here. It's 400 meters, it's good. I wanna go further, I really wanna do that. But this is the vector where the enemies will come from, and they might just pop up and see me and try to shoot me. Oh, no. No, for that reason, we're gonna go for somebody else, for some different positions here. Second too late. That was just one second. Damn it. But that one second really determined if I could hit or not. There's a guy. We're gonna take that. Okay, just some missiles, and then we pull back. So, we dealt damage without receiving any. That is good. That's what we need. Nigeria has ECM. Takes too long to target. So, we're gonna not take that guy. Okay, there's a... What is that? Annihilator? SRM Brawler. Large lasers on top of it. All right. Good to know. All right, let's go for those guys. Okay, oh, beautiful. Great. That was good. That was good damage on the fireball. But now I'm exposed. I'm the one on the front line, more or less. We have something like a NASCAR. We have something like a very split situation here. I want to try. I want to try to get that guy. Come on, in his back. Ah, that's some damage, but it's not enough. I'm not feeling comfortable here. Hello, mister. Oh, he's going to die. Yeah, Gauss PPC, whatever. We're going to try to take him. It's a side also destroyed. We're gonna go for the missiles with the cool shot, and he is down. Two and zero. Looking good, guys. Looking very good. But I don't like getting shot here. There's another annihilator. Oh, it's the annihilator. So, right now, I'm just gonna pepper them with missiles, because I am not feeling comfortable. And also, the ECM is kind of kind of nasty here. All right, hunchback. Let's go. Double Ultra 20 as well. Um, Sure, I'm gonna pop my UIV. I hope that it's enough. To get a target, well, it's the hunchback at the very least. Alrighty, so there we go. That's that's a target for hmm, for my side torso being destroyed. Not good. So let's see if we can find somebody else. Let's wait it out and take it slow, because currently my team is not engaged, and I'm not happy with that because um, I, I took a lot of damage to my armor already, trying to get in and trying to deal damage. I cannot go there. I'm gonna die. Right? Shall we? It doesn't feel right. I really want to take it a bit slower, but my team, my teammates are dying. We should go. We should really go here. So, let's see what's coming around. Okay, so that's a kill. Perfect. And I, I need to get the Fafni down. Kilo, please. Fafni. Um, let's go. God, 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 God. Come on. Keep it locked. Keep it locked. Keep it locked. Keep it locked. Cannot go there. No, it's not possible. All right. So, guys, we need more people on Delta 4. Right, we got that dude. He's dead. Ah, kind of. Well, we got a lock on him, still. That means that this will kill. Seven and one. Looking good. And again, taking the time as much as possible. But at this point, I think we can go in because the rest of the team is coming. Uh, Kid Fox, be careful. I'm behind you. Kid Fox, be careful. I'm behind you. Watch the friendly fire. Just told you, buddy. I don't know if that was him. And that's some, some damage in against the Fafnir yet again. Okay, we can't go for him now. Let's do it. Auto cannons. Uh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> I was wondering why my auto cannons wouldn't fire, but I think they were just both jammed and I didn't have the time to look. And again, the ECM on our enemies is just ridiculous here. No, 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 no. Come on, peek out. That's where we want to go. We even got the kill on him. And then the hunchback. Yep, let's go for it. Side toss is both down. Ammo is still there. At the very least, a little bit. And we have an enemy out there. It's an Osiris. We're gonna pepper him with some missiles. Actually, let's try to hit him with the auto cannons as well. We still have some shots. And we connect it. Nice. And that is the kill. We well done, everybody. So we took a lot of damage to our very big side torsos there, which are the obvious targets for any enemy damage. However, we survived. We didn't lose the weapons. And, you know, ammo-wise, we were, you know, just fine again. We got one killing blow, four kill, most damage dealt. We got f 10 assists, 876 damage done. Very nice here. 255 taken with uh, six components destroyed. And that, my friends, was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.